Howdy, my name is Bill, Bill Nowak, and I'm with my good friend here, Lester, real name is Leslie, Lester, Leslie, Harvey, all one, all the same. Today, we're going to go fishing, and I'm going to turn the camera on to my good friend, Les, Lester, Leslie, same thing, Harvey, and he's going to let you know what we're going for today. Hi, Bill. How you doing, Les? Pretty good. It's kind of a rainy day, Bill. Yes, it is. And some people would call it a crappy day. Crappy day, you tan? It's a crappy day. What are we going to go fish for, you think? Trout? No. Bass? No. It's a crappy day. We might as well go get ourselves some crappy. Yee-ha! <laughs> Crappy. Let's go get us some crappy. Once again, it's another secret location. Not to be told by no one, no way. Unless we get ourselves lick it up. Lick it? Lick it up. Lick it east. That's right. Well, let's get going. Okay, let's go. Here's the key. <laughs> crappy. I'm not much of a crappy fisherman. I'm a pretty good fisherman. You ain't fished unless you fish for crappy. It's not easy for me to fish crappy. I fish good. Hmm. Yeah, but you're full of it. Crappy? Yeah. That's right. Well, you get a pull, I get... That ain't how it goes. It goes, you get a line, I get a pull, honey. You get a line, I get a pull, babe. You get a line, I get a pull, I'll meet you down by that fishing hole, honey. Yeah, we're gonna go turkey hunting tomorrow. What was that? That was a buck. A buck turkey. <laughs> they call them Tobs in some part of the world. Buford, you got a 26 pound gobbler. You know how big that is? That's rightly big. That's a pound bigger than a 25 pounder. That's right. So Buford, he done himself all right. Bill, Bill, shut the camera off, Bill. We gotta, we gotta shut the camera off now. They just drove by my secret location. And uh, we're gonna turn around, we're gonna get our boat out, and we're gonna do some fishing on this crappy day. We're gonna try to make it a real good crappy day. So we'll be seeing you in a bit. Uh, how about some Goujonet after? Crappy Goujonet? <laughs> <laughs> Bill's unlocking the gate. He thinks he can catch crappie. <laughs> He's full of crappie. There's no way. I'll outfish him ten to one. You just wait and see. How'd you like that move? That was good, Bill. Did you get that one? No. That's what happens when you fish these secret spots. This would be Bell. What are you doing, Bill? Get in the boat. Get it ready. Got an electric one. Huh? Look at that. Is that the old baseball player? I got right here, I got, I got the anchor. What kind of anchor? This is one that you don't have to weigh. So when I say weigh the anchor, that means you just throw it out. You don't have to weigh it. Yeah, what's a weigh? I don't know. It says health disc. 15 pounds. These anchors are common in these pots. That's the anchors we use. They call us dumbbells. <laughs> Multi-purpose. Hmm. That ain't good. This ain't a good sign, Billy. A little Ted Williams sprung a leak. Yeah, but I brought me an Elgin. Elgin what? An Elgin baler. <laughs> That's to take the water out. A little sports mm, trivia. Gonna have an Elgin. Box right there. Okay. Oh, messed up. Don't forget, old Les has got to hop up front there, Bill. Les is gonna go right there. 
who knows. I'm hoping that that was in there. That makes two of us. Lester, I think you got the lens cap on there. Yeah. Lester, looks like you got a hole up there. Is there a hole in that boat there? Well, we're all right. I see a hole right down there. See that hole? I've been looking for that. Maybe we should plug it up next time. Overrated. Where are you headed, Bill? We're headed to the north end of the lake. Lester, why don't you tell the people a little bit about the north end of the lake? Well, we're gonna. We're unfamiliar with these waters for this species. So being May 3rd or 4th, whatever it is, it's still cold and miserable here because it's a crop of day. So we're going to fish the north end of the lake starting off because that's typically where the lake will warm up first. The sun comes down, beats on that end of the lake, we'll see. Being today though, the wind's coming from the north pushing that, it might be pushing the warm water down that end. So we're going to fish the north end, the south end, and anything in between. How's that going? It all sounds kind of logical. The only thing is I'm trying to remember my uh, geography and my science, and that told me years ago that, well, north is cold, south is warm. And you got me headed towards the north end of the lake. i kind of thinking there that uh, why is the question why going through my mind. The question is why would there be uh, warmer water in the north? If the North Pole is cold, Santa Claus lives in the north, there's a lot of snow up there, glacials, etc., etc., and we're headed north. But I guess you're the uh, official guy, you're the official uh, respiratory uh, expert here, and therefore I will take your trust under my wing and we're going to go find us some crappie. Let's see if there's anything in there, Bill. Well, we got a nice structure all over the place here. This log here. Here's, here's a little secret my granddaddy taught me. You gotta get that worm. spit on it. That way the fish smell your spit and they come and get you. We're using the slip barber and a little white crap Berkey, Berkeley crappie tool. I might be fishing a little deep for the situation here. So let's move that up a little bit. This is a wing it. You like to wing it. You always want to have your knot pointing straight up from the hook. That way there when the jig hangs in the water Looks like a fish instead of a jig hanging in the water. That's paramount. Good fish. Those bullets don't go astray. Right, I think what we do, Paul, is we. Oh, a fish jump. It's a good sign. I'm starting to hallucinate. I think what we do, Bill, is we get over on that other side like we were going to do, and we start fishing it. We'll give that a shot and see what happens. What do you think? This is just a, this is typical of Lester Harvey. See, these are called tangles. I am a specialist at having tangles in fishing poles. It's much too much fun. Oh, I like to tangle, I like to tangle. Don't let your dingle dangle on the dock. Put your dingle dangle in a jock. Just want you to know that. Wear a jock.